Today, we are going to be making chocolate strawberry macarons. First, let's start with getting the egg whites from four large eggs. We are looking for 120 grams of egg whites. Next, measure out 120 grams of granulated sugar. I'm also adding three grams of dried egg white powder and mixing it with my granulated sugar. Next, measure out 115 grams of almond flour, 90 grams of powdered sugar, and 17 grams of cocoa powder. I use a whisk to mix the dry ingredients together while pushing it through the sieve. You want to discard any large pieces that will not go through the sieve. Now it's time to make our meringue. Over a pot of barely simmering water, add your bowl of egg whites. Pour your granulated sugar into your egg whites and begin to stir. We want to keep stirring until our sugar has completely dissolved. You can check if the sugar has dissolved by lifting up your egg whites and filling for any sugar grains. It will only take a couple of minutes for the sugar to completely dissolve. Once you no longer fill any grains, you're good to go and can transfer your egg whites over to the mixer. Now pour your egg whites into the bowl of your stand mixer and slowly turn up the speed. I typically whip my meringue at a speed of seven or eight. Once my meringue starts to look glossy, I will add my food coloring. I will whip the meringue until we reach stiff peaks. Stiff peaks are when the meringue has straight points and does not bend over. See how stiff and straight those peaks are? This is where you want to stop. Now it's time to add our meringue to the dry ingredients. You can add your dry ingredients into the bowl with your meringue or you can add your meringue on top of the dry ingredients. This is all personal preference. Now we want to fold the dry ingredients in with our meringue to form the batter. If you'd like a more detailed video, I'm linking in the cards above my in-depth and real-time tutorial called How to Make Macarons. Keep folding until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Your batter should look like a very thick lava. Now it's time for the macronage process. And here, uh, all I'm doing is pressing through the center of the bowl and pressing the batter up against the sides. I rotate the bowl in like quarter turns and then I'll fold the batter back into the center of the bowl. It's good to check the consistency of the batter on a regular basis. Our goal is to get the batter to a ribbon-like stage where it just ribbons off the end of your spatula. You should be able to form several figure eights in one continuous stream. Once your batter has reached the ribbon-like stage, transfer the batter over to a piping bag. I've covered my work surface with a towel and using a one and a half inch template. I have a link in the description below if you need a template. Now pipe your shells, remove the template, and bang your tray to remove the air bubbles. You can use a scribe or a toothpick to pop any remaining bubbles. Next, rest your shells for 15 minutes to an hour. You want to make sure a skin has formed and that you have like a dull matte finish. You should be able to touch the shells and no batter come off on your finger. Now I'm baking at 300 degrees for 16 minutes. Now that the shells have baked and cooled, let's fill with our strawberry cream. If you'd like this recipe, check out the strawberry cheesecake macaron video. I've linked it in the cards above. Now let's decorate our shells. Take some melting chocolate and put in a Ziploc bag. Today I'm using Ghirardelli dark chocolate melting wafers. Put in the microwave for 40 seconds. When the chocolate is completely melted, snip the corner of the Ziploc bag. Then drizzle the chocolate over top of your macarons. Let the chocolate cool and enjoy. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel, and while you're here, check out this other macaron video. Have a wonderful and blessed day.